Hey everybody, here is my coloring book based on my National Park paintings. I have a solo exhibition right now where I'm showing all of the original paintings that inspired these coloring pages. But back to this coloring book, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of each page in this coloring book so you can see what is inside. We have a welcome page. And the first coloring page is inspired by Acadia National Park in Maine. This one is inspired by Arches National Park in Utah. This is called Navajo Arch. This one is Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. This is a little more detail than the other two. And you're welcome to use colored pencils or markers for this. I recommend fine tip markers if you do use markers. And I haven't had any issues with the markers bleeding through the pages onto the next one. Um, but if you are nervous about that, then just get an extra piece of paper and you'll be extra protected and none of your markers will bleed through at all. This one is Yosemite Falls. This is the waterfall in Yosemite National Park. You can see Half Dome in the background there. This is probably the most detailed one we have. These are some pelicans I saw at Biscayne Bay National Park in Florida. And then we have some vertically oriented ones. This is in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We have a really beautiful, colorful sunset sky and our mountains getting closer to the foreground. This one is in Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah. This is Delicate Arch at Arches National Park. And if you're looking at these and wondering how the heck am I supposed to figure out what colors to make these, I have that coming up soon. We have some thumbnails of the paintings that inspired these in case you wanted a color scheme to go along with. But you don't have to use that color scheme. This is the sunset in Shenandoah Valley National Park. And moving back to a horizontal one. This is in the Everglades in Florida. This is one of the hot springs in Yellowstone National Park. This is a Joshua Tree in Joshua Tree National Park, California. This is also in Grand Teton National Park. This is what inspired the cover art. This is a shell sculpture. So this was just some driftwood that somebody put seashells on and I came across it on a hike and I thought that was really beautiful. So I turned that into a painting and then turned it into a coloring page for you. And this one's this direction. And what's a coloring book about national parks without the Grand Canyon? I had to add the Grand Canyon in there as well. This one is inspired by Glacier National Park. This is up by Logan Pass. There's this really peaceful little pond uh, stream kind of running through there. This is in Zion National Park. And this one is in Big Bend National Park in Texas. So we have like the land here. This is called the window. And then it opens up to this really colorful sky. And that's it for our coloring pages. So we have 19 coloring pages, all single sided. The markers do not bleed through, but if you're cautious and you really press hard, you might want to put a piece of paper in between each page if you're using markers. If you're using colored pencils, you don't have to worry about that at all. These are the coloring inspiration pages, so it goes in order with the book. So Base Harbor Headlight was the first one right there. So if you want to see, uh, if you just want like an idea of how to color this one, you can look at this painting that I made and just go with that kind of general color scheme, or you can color it however you'd like. And I have a thumbnail for each one. And congratulations, you have reached the end of this coloring book. If you guys are not already, you can follow me on social media. Steph Maraca Fine Art is my name. You can also find painting tutorials on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is called The Painting Stoof. Thank you for your business and support. I appreciate it. Oh, here's the back cover as well, if you need to see that. I put a lot of time into these. I spent over six months putting together 
all of the coloring pages. That doesn't include the time to make the original paintings, too. That took years, I guess, if we're talking making the paintings and then making the books. So lots of time and effort went into this. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I have a link for this product in the description under this video. Please order a copy. Let me know what you think of it. Leave a review on Amazon. And thank you so much for your support. Have a great day. Bye-bye.